Hello everyone, I'm Adro here from Profit From Property. Today I'm going to touch on the east side project called the Alps, which TOP in 2019, located in Tampanese. It will be a comprehensive analysis where I'll cover the different bedroom types ranging from the 1 to the 5 bedrooms. For today's video, I'll be analysing particularly on the one bedroom in the Alps where we will go into detail the different factors which affects the profit for each unit. For the first factor, it will be the unit spacing. If you can see from here, I've sorted out the one bedroom based on the highest profit to the lowest profit. And we can see that there are four one bedroom profitable transactions that have already crossed the 100k mark which are stack 13, 14, and 27. And those below 100k profit are stack 19, 20, and 22. From the site plan, what's the key difference is that stack 13, 14, and 27 are all inward facing with good distance to opposite blocks. And all of these stacks get to enjoy good views of the interior facilities like your pool view, your landscape view, etc. Whereas stack 19, 20, and 22 are all facing towards the main road. What we want to note here is that, yes, the better view units make more profit, but does that mean when we buy a property, we focus purely on facing? The key factor we should be looking at is also the entry price. You can see that the better facing units purchase price per square foot is the same as the main road facing purchase price per square foot, or an average of 1,100 plus per square foot. By choosing the premium view units at the same price as the non-premium view, there's an advantage when we exit and the profit margin becomes higher. So take note on the entry price and the facing of the unit. Vice versa, if the non-premium units are substantially lower than the premium view units, this time round, it might be more worth it to go for the non-premium view units as the profit margin can be higher than the premium view. We can take a look at the 506 square feet one plus study where this time round, stack 22 facing main road made more profit than stack 14 facing the pool. You can see the difference in the entry price where stack 22 is bought at 10++ plus plus per square foot and stack 14 this time round is bought at 11++ plus plus per square foot. That's why for every development, it is important to understand the pricing and to be able to select the best unit. You can see that most of them are purchased on the same date and month. The next factor would be understanding the layout and who are your future buyers. We see that the smallest one bedroom 441 square feet layout made the most profit comparing to the bigger one plus study layout. From the floor plan here, the one plus study layout is better but it profited lesser. The key point here would be the total quantum for both the one bedroom and the one plus study. The one bedroom 441 square feet is bought at 499k and the one plus study 506 square feet is bought at 572,000. What we have to know is that the one bedroom potential buyers are mainly investors who buy to lease their property out instead of buying it for their own state. We have to focus on who we are going to sell to in future and look at the rental that the unit can command. We can see that the rental difference between the one plus study and the one bed is pretty similar at an average range of $2,000 per month. The bigger one plus study and smaller one bed both commands the same rental but their difference in price quantum affects the yield. The smaller one bedroom made the most profit due to its lower overall quantum and yet commanding similar rental which makes it more attractive for future buyers who are buying it for investment. For the current owners of the one bedroom Alps, due to the initial entry price and rental, you can consider to continue renting out the unit to enjoy the rental income because we are looking at about 3.5% to 4% rental yield which is considered good. Just continue to monitor your rental and your prices closely as Tapestry, another condo right beside has just achieved its TOP status. There will be a total of another 269 one-bedroom units from Tapestry. With that being said, there should be no additional one-bedroom supply upcoming within your immediate vicinity in the next few years. So my take is that the prices should still hold, but you might experience some competition from Tapestry. For buyers who are looking to buy one bedroom in Alps, you can consider looking at either both the one bed or one plus study, depending on the lower quantum, as both rentals are commanding about the same. What we want to focus here is on getting the best rental you. With that, I've covered for today the one bedroom analysis for the Alps in Tampines. Stay tuned for the upcoming episodes where I'll be covering the two, three, four, and five bedrooms subsequently. If you find this video useful, click on the like and subscribe button. Goodbye, see you, bye bye.